1968, the Soviet Navy had a loss at sea of one of their submarines. It was the K-129. It was based in Kamchatka, and it sunk in an area about 1,500 miles northwest of Hawaii. The wreckage was at a depth of about 16,500 feet, more than three miles underwater. The CIA launched one of the most incredible operations to recover artifacts from that. Now, it was a diesel electric boat, it wasn't nuclear, but the real target was the code and cipher books in the conning tower, and we wanted to recover one of their nuclear-tipped torpedoes to study it. We turned to financier Howard Hughes, and we had him, through one of his companies, develop the Hughes Glomar Explorer as an undersea mining ship. It was successfully built in the U.S. It was launched out of its port in California. It had a crew that contained many members of the technical service staff of the CIA. It went on station as if it was mining for minerals at the bottom of the ocean. It had a moon bay that contained a giant claw that could drop down, positioned directly over the boat, attached to it, and lift it up into the moon bay where it could be examined. Now, this worked. Located the boat, dropped the claw, they're raising the craft, and just before it surfaced, about half of it fell away. The Central Intelligence Agency later released film showing the formal burial at sea of the remnants from members of the Soviet submarine. What was interesting is, though, they denied any operation was ever used to recover the remains from the bottom of the sea. So if things were kind of fouled up and they don't make sense, we call that they were glomarred. What's very rare are artifacts from the boat. And we have several pieces from the crew on display in the museum, but we're also very proud to have one of the small panels that was taken from somewhere in a control panel of the boat. To our knowledge, it is the only remaining artifact from the K-129 outside of the holdings of the CIA.